Hi guys, it's Miss G. Um, today I'm going to show you an investigation that you can do at home to really see the life cycle of a plant. So I did this using just a few materials. I didn't um, buy anything from the store except for this pepper that I was already using for dinner. So this is something that you could do at home that requires uh, very little materials. So um, it all started when I was cooking dinner one night and I was cutting up this pepper or a pepper like this and I noticed that there were so many seeds on the inside. So I thought, hmm, how can I uh, plant these seeds to grow my own plant so I can have my own peppers and not have to buy them at the store. So I cut open this pepper and there was all these seeds and I thought, hmm, okay, well I know that a seed needs water and a seed's gonna need sunlight. So I went ahead and put the seeds in a wet paper towel. Um, I put them on the inside and I put it in this bag to keep the moisture in. And I put this in the sun for about three days. On day three, I went ahead and opened it up and I could see that most of these seeds had germinated. Um, you can even see this one is starting to get, the leaves are starting to even open up. So that one's definitely gonna be ready. So I thought to myself, okay, they had water, they had sunlight, but now that they're uh, beginning to sprout, they're gonna need nutrients. So I know that nutrients comes from the soil, so you need, it's uh, time to replant them. So um, I had soil at home and I had this egg carton at home. Um, you don't even need these little cups. Uh, you could plant them directly into the egg container, but you need to make sure you poke uh, a hole at the bottom so that the water can drain. I've done that in my little cups. So um, I planted about two or three um, of these seeds into the soil now. So now they're gonna have nutrients. I can already see some of them starting to come up through uh, the soil and they are going to lose that seed coat soon and the leaves are going to come out. So now they're going to have uh, the nutrients from the soil, they're going to have sunlight and I'm going to continue to water them a little bit each day. Uh, so this is something you could do at home, uh, it doesn't have to be a pepper, you could use another vegetable uh, to get the seeds and see if you can germinate them in the paper towel. So. Uh, this is an investigation you can do at home to really watch and see with your own eyes the life cycle of a plant. I'm going to keep you updated with my investigation and see how far I can get these uh, pepper plants and see if I can uh, get them a little bigger and um, I'm definitely going to need to replant them into a bigger pot the bigger they get because they're going to require more room when they start to really grow up and have a stem and leaves. So uh, if you have any questions, send me a message on Edsby and I'll be happy to help you. Um, again, all I used was this pepper, a paper towel with a Ziploc bag, uh, an egg carton and some soil. I had soil, um, potting soil at my house. If you don't have potting soil at your house and you're not able to get any, you can even just uh, go outside and try to dig up some that's moist. Um, it might not be have as much nutrients as some of the stuff at the store, but it'll definitely get you started. So um, again, if you have any questions, send me a message on Edsby and I'll be happy to help you if you wanna start your own investigation at home. All right, thank you.